I'm here today to tell you a story that really happened 75 years ago. More than 80 years ago, Japan was at war with the United States and China. War is a quarrel between countries. You are all aware of the horrible weapons that mankind has created. Did you know that the atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and that many people died? Did you know that the U.S. military landed on Okinawa and killed many girls? In Aomori City, where you live, there was an air raid where many bombs were dropped and many people were killed and lost their homes. It is called the Aomori Air Raid. The story that follows is about an elderly woman named Setsu Tomioka who was in elementary school 75 years ago, just like you. I'm going to begin my talk with a prayer for the many people who died in the air raid. That war began over 80 years ago and lasted for over 10 years. As the war raged, American troops flew into Japan and dropped bombs on various Japanese cities. In March of 1945, Tokyo was burned to the ground in an air raid. By May of that year, by even here in Aomori, there may be a bomb in Aomori soon. Maybe we should run away to the countryside. Everyone began to worry. My father told me to evacuate with my aunt. The four of us, my aunt and aunt's one-year-old daughter and the baby, who is about six months old are going to take a train to the wooden village of what is now Sugaru City. Evacuation means to escape to the countryside because in a big town you can be attacked easily. At the time, not only children but adults also began to evacuate the area, believing that air raids might soon be coming to Aomori. The number of people in the city of Aomori was decreasing. Seeing this, the governor, who had the most power in Aomori, became angry, saying, You are planning to abandon the town by fleeing from Aomori. Then he began to say, We don't give out food to people who don't defend their homes in Aomori. At this time, the war was raging and food was running out. Food such as rice and sugar was called rationing. And we didn't buy it at the store. They were distributed to each family. Of course the amount was not much at all. The governor also said that he would destroy the houses of those who left Aomori. He said, if you want your rations come back until July 28th. The 28th was the day of the air raid in Aomori. When she saw the governor's announcement, her aunt said, oh my god. I won't be able to get milk for my child. And my aunt asked me to go back to Aomori city with her. I said yes. So, on the afternoon of July 28th, we returned to Aomori City on a crowded train from Kizukri Village. My father looked at me and said, Why did you come back? He shouted, Today is the most dangerous day of the year, as Aomori may be bombed. Go back to the Kizukri Village now. I was surprised. And I murmured, But, but. It was evening, and there was no train to return to the evacuation site. My father let me into the house and said, What can I do? He said to me, I'm going to send my aunts home and you're going to wait at home. Then my father took my aunts to her parents' house. The father who came back said, I don't know what's going on today. Keep your luggage at your bedside so that you can escape quickly. As my father told me, I packed my luggage at the bedside and went into the food on. And finally, I was sleeping. My father came to our room, shouting, It's hard. It's an air raid. Get up early. Let's all run away now. While rubbing my sleepy eyes, I followed my father and fled to the air raid shelter at Shokakuji. Woon woon, the siren was ringing outside. My brother. Hugh was in the second year of junior high school at the time, also came into the air raid shelter later. The woman who entered the air raid shelter after my brother probably had a fire in the air raid on her back. But no one tries to erase it. Maybe everyone was scared and couldn't move. Perhaps the woman thought it would be a nuisance if I were here. She went out of the burning fire. The sound of bombing doesn't stop outside. 
It's hot. The heat came into the air raid shelter and went out from the air raid shelter one by one. At last, I was the only one. My brother and my father. Dead is hot, oh, there is water, and when the three of us dug the soil of the air raid shelter with our fingers, a little water came out. I dipped water in my throat and said, it feels good. Still, the air raid shelter just gets hot. My father said, it's getting hotter and hotter, and I might die if I stay here. And we decided to get out of the air raid shelter with three people. When I went outside, it was a sea of fire. Since it was a temple, we all ran around in the tomb. My brother and father ran fast and I was desperate to keep up. Kia, I fell into a hole as if something pulled me. I fell into the water, Dobin. There was water in the hole. I shouted, Dad, there is water, and there is water in this hole. When I shouted hard, my father and brother rushed in. When my father turned on the flashlight, there were household items. There are also bedding, and my father and brother blocked the entrance and exit where the bedding was soaked in water and the heat came in. Still, smoke is coming in. If this bedding catches fire, I'll die, I thought. My father and brother kept watering their bedding. How much water did the three of us put on the bedding? The momentum of the outside fire seemed to have subsided. The sound of the plane has also become quieter. When I calmed down a little and looked outside, I heard the sound of watering. My father muttered, I wonder if I'm oiling. If I'm oiled, everyone will die. I was scared and showed up in a hurry. Then, maybe it rained, the fire was extinguished. The surrounding area was a burnt field and it had changed completely. I couldn't speak and was just surprised. The sky is getting brighter gradually. My father said, I'll look at my house. My brother and I said, I'm waiting here and stayed in the hole. Because we were tired and couldn't move. What are you doing? Suddenly I heard a yell. Get out now, ellipsis. Apparently he was the owner of this air raid shelter. It can't be helped. Let's wait for our dad outside, my brother said. We were waiting outside for my father's return. As soon as my dad came home, he asked us, What happened to you, your luggage? Oh, in that hole, my brother and I muttered. We didn't know that my father had brought his luggage into the hole. My father had rice balls, brown herring, and a tray substitute in his hand. When I asked my father, What's wrong? My father said, the lid of the kettle was burnt, but the rice was cooked because of the fire. The area around the barrel also burned, but I thought I could eat herring under the pickled stones, so I brought it. Said, while eating rice balls, my brother and I asked my father about the house he had lost. After eating the rice balls, my brother went out alone, saying, I'll see what's going on around me. My dad also went out saying, I wonder if my relatives in Tabaka Maji are okay. I hope they can escape well. I couldn't go anywhere because I was scared if I didn't know when the plane would fly. Then, I was waiting for my dad and my brother near the air raid shelter that was angry that I shouldn't enter. A few hours later, my father, who had been out to Tabaka Machi, came back. How was it, aunt? How was your aunt? I asked, my father said, our aunt was late to escape from the air raid shelter and died. And my father started talking slowly. The air raid shelter that the aunt's escape was full. The aunt seemed to have escaped with an old lady about 70 years old. But because there were so many people, she didn't enter and she said, children. I ran away to another place, saying, Grandmother was running away like hanging under a bridge. When the grandmother returned to the air raid shelter after the dawn and the fire went out, all the people who went inside and evacuated were dead. The man's clothes were burnt. It seems I couldn't tell if it was a person or a woman. The grandmother said, the person should be protecting the child, there must be someone in this who is protecting the child. And when the grandmother searched for it, the body holding the child came out. I heard that the grandmother turned out to be her aunt's 
Quote dot dot dot. The grandmother was disappointed. When I heard my father's story, I thought, I'm glad I was saved and aunts and babies are dead. But as time went on, I began to think, I can't go back to the evacuation site with my aunt who came with me yesterday by train. The air raid shelter was hot, the color of the flame. I was really scared. Aunts and babies, everyone wouldn't want to die. The aunts came back to Aomori for milk. They would never have wanted to die, I thought, and suddenly I became sad and wanted to cry. The sun began to rise in the burn marks. Did I see the flames too long, or was the sun dazzling too much? I couldn't look up, I was looking down all the time. I heard this later, but my uncle said, I thought that Murren in Hokkaido would be attacked by air, so I evacuated my wife and children to Aomori. If I didn't go to Aomori, this wouldn't happen. He said he was very disappointed. That evening we took a freight train to the wooden structure. It is a vehicle without a roof. We were crouching and when the train smoke turned black, no one said anything anymore. I thought Annie and her babies would have wanted to go back to the evacuation site together, and I couldn't raise my face. And we arrived at the Kizuguri station. War is a terrifying thing that kills innocent people. Please keep this story in your heart, and keep thinking about what the world you are living in now and what pieces.